those idiots. They think they know. They don't know a thing. They just keep living their lives. Happy ignorance. One of these days I'll prove it. One of these days they'll find out and I'll be able to live my life again. Get out of this hellhole. <sighs> oh, hey, Oz. Haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? Oh, it's you. Damn it, Reddy, didn't I tell you people to leave me alone? I can take care of myself. All right, but uh, I just came by to tell you. They brought Fresno's past self here to LP after the, um, accident. They did what? Oh god, I still have time. I have to hurry and warn him. <laughs> Man, Liz sure is a good cook. I can't wait for that food to be invented. What'd she call it? Bavarian turkey cake or something? I don't even know. God damn it! What the f- Fresno! Who the hell are you? It's me, Fresno! It's Oz! Oz? <laughs> Why do you smell like cheap liquor and nail polish? There's no t- I have to- I have to- you have to listen! Something's gonna go terribly wrong! Hey, Fresno. What the? But, but there are two of... I... Oh no! Why are you here? You're not supposed to be here! Damn it, Fresno, there's no more time! You have to... Hey, get the hell away from him, man! No! What the fuck? Did I? Where did Was he... Was that? Time travel is fucked up! I just bleeped myself out of existence. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. If that was the future, Oz, how the hell did you get here? Uh, funny story. So, why would you get in the trunk of a car instead of saying hello to Liz and I? Uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't know. Right. Well, I'm here doing an LP of some game for future people, and... Since your future counterpart got bleeped out, I guess bad. I guess you're gonna have to help me out with it. I guess I could always do that. All right, well, what are you about though? I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out as we go. Well, let me just take you here to the recording room. We'll try and keep off of Liz's radar. Oh man. So hey guys, Freezing Inferno here, and we're back again with Let's Play Super Back to the Future Part Two. My guest today, Omega Zoltan. Hello, everyone. Yay, he is totally, like, from this time period, and, uh, not from the past, like, any other crazy past people at all. <laughs> oh no, I know everything about this, this time with its flying cars and its hoverboards. It's pretty rad, actually. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All the hoverboards and stuff are really excellent. Especially the hoverboards from those vending machines. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I go out all the time to, to like, place to coffee shops and something, and I'll see a hoverboard vending machine, I'm like, oh man, I gotta do it. So I insert my, like, big old coin with a star on it and grab that hoverboard, and I go down the street on it and stuff. It really is a commodity for the economy. I mean, it, it, it gave us, like, it, it got us out of the depression, I have to say, the hoverboard yeah. market. Oh, thank God for the hoverboard. Praise be to it. Anyway, this level has you fighting the gang of Biff, and that man just threw a Tetris block at us. Yeah, I noticed that. I was... Are you climbing the wall there? Yeah, this is a magnet rail thing. You're flipping on your hoverboard, kind of like in something like Ninja Gaiden and whatnot. You'd figure you would just, like, slide up the side. That You'd figure. Kind of oh, well. Nope. Ah. You can wall climb, but just up this one wall. Ah. Also, spike balls everywhere. Little robots there with the OK sign too. Yeah, they just gotta tell you that everything in the future is A-OK. -okay. Well, it is a, a communist dictatorship. Oh yes. It. Hey, look, flying cars that are flying Ooh, back and forth as convenient platforms. Unrealistic considering the technology we actually use here in the future. But you know, upside down wheels look pretty cool nonetheless. Yeah, they will look lovely. I mean, this game is kind of retro, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. It's like reading one of the, it's like reading 1984 when you're in the year 2007. It's like, what the hell is up with this? And 2007 is rad. Yeah. Crazy stuff. 
So what's going on now? Where are we going? What's the, 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 our purpose in life right now? Oh, our purpose is flipping around on the hoverboard and what not... What the hell? Look at that woman! Look at her just spinning around with her pigtails and flipping about. A modern Piero Yachido is what that is. Fucking pirouetting them. Look at that shit! What the hell? Yeah, the, she only takes one hit, but she's gonna stop spinning to do it. There, look at that. <laughs> look at the face that she makes, wow. She's got- a, she can open her mouth really wide. Ah! Oh yeah. A deep throat pirouette. <laughs> Don't you just love the future? <laughs> it is an amazing place, I have to say. Oh yeah. Just flipping up these things and getting coins left around on the end. This is like, wow, how to, way to artificially increase the length of the level game. And just making you climb up a hill over and over. No action, no, nothing different. Just, oh, what's this? Hey, there's some hoverboard punks. We're trying to beat us with sticks. Rubber, like those rubber bats that I have used to have in like, high school. Yeah, crazy stuff. These people are the worst of good bullies ever. It's ridiculous. They're just trying to beat up poor old Marty. Well, at least this guy has some sort of, like, Sonic... Yeah, stick. some kind of, like, Gale element to his fucking bat or whatever. Anyway, since we beat them all, we've beaten the level. Alright! And now it's time for a wonderful thing. A rematch with Griff. Oh, man. And this is also factually inaccurate to the movie. If you've seen the movie, you'll remember that... Marty's hoverboard stops in the water and they say, Hey McFly, you bojo! Those boards don't work on water unless you've got power. <laughs> but look at this! Look at this! Clearly... This is an easy... Well, hey, that's how you hurt him? Oh, you can hurt... You can actually hit him too, but that's not in his help. And you just flip him into the fucking hill valley shopping mall over and over again. See, I just flip him here. But, like, the water doesn't even look like it's hitting him. That's weird. Yeah, it's weird. And he... Knocks up the goddamn switches too. So he's just really got to... Is he holding two bats? Yeah, he's holding two bats and flipping them at us and stuff. Pretty rad. On his giant pit bull. <laughs> the hoverboard brand. God love them pit bulls, man. I prefer the Rottweiler class myself. Oh, uh, Rottweiler class is pretty good. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's flipping all around is what he's doing. You'd figure physics would in, would imply that you would pretty much die after being launched into City Hall and falling off the top floor. Yeah, it's crazy stuff. But that Griff, he's resilient. He's got a few sort he's got some short circuits in his bionic implants. <laughs> well, you figure after ju jumping out of the water, it would kind of adversely affect him somehow. Yeah, just a little. And he just sits one. there, just going ah. Hit me, hit me, hit me, you little bitch, hit me. Be able to if you get went like over the water. Oh, there we go. And he's done. He's nice. Yeah, he smashed into the ceiling, he's done. He's gonna get uh fined for uh public vandalism. Destroy that oh, window yeah. in City Hall. And now we get a little cutscene with anime doc telling us the future is saved and we can totally go home and stuff. Awesome. But I think something's going on. Oh, oh shit! Oh, what is this? I have no clue what this is, but it's round three one. Aw oh, man, that old guy. Who is he? Who is he? And what is this? I think we're Night gonna. Time. I think we're gonna need a time travel expert to tell us what's going on here. Oh shit! It's beyond our realm. So thank you, Oz, for coming here for this part of. Super Back to the Future 2. Not a problem. Kind of followed you here. Oh, yeah. Well, see you next time, everybody. Bye. So, uh, something tr troubling me about what your future self said about having to warn me about stuff and things. Yeah, I wonder what the hell it is he wanted to say. Had I known that it was me, I would have, like, let him say his thing. Yeah, well... I bet. Well, we're, we're past the point of him not existing anymore. But what you... Yeah, just a little bit. But what you can do for me is uh, actually go out there and find out what the hell happened to me. Because I know Reese said I had a nasty accident, so maybe you can, like, head that... 
head around, find out what the hell happened to me. That would explain why I can't see a future Fresno here. Alright, I figure I can uh, go explore a little bit while you continue your let's play. Yeah, besides, if Liz catches you here, you're dead. Yeah, I'd rather... I like being alive, so I think I'll head off. I will see you when I find an answer, my friend. Good luck. You know the number to this LP place, don't you? You can find it in the phone book. Well, I managed to walk all the way here. I'll just find the place again. Awesome. Good luck, Oz. Thanks. Later.